checking out. Resort for our very ride back to Dumaguete for our last day in paradise. Malin, are you still Malin? Mama yeah, Lin? I'm still. <laughs> I see still I see. No one is joining us. <laughs> Spent three years in Ah, maybe no, Kuya. As long as you have the card, you can it, go out. I wasn't recording again. <laughs> she said this stupid thing. It's recording again. <laughs> She's not allowed to go anywhere next year when we come back. <laughs> right, Patrick? That, Patrick? <laughs> right, Patrick? <laughs> you hear that, Patrick? <laughs> you hear that, Prince? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. What? See you later. See you later. Mm. Thank you so much. I miss you already. I am be crying. We'll be back. We'll be back. I need my bones up. Next time, huh? Mm. It's not a good buy. It's not a good buy. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good buy. 
<laughs> Just till update. See you later. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs> She's just excited because she knows that the next time she sees you, she might be coming to Canada. <laughs> See you soon. Yes. Yeah. Just a few months. So. <laughs> <laughs> and he's excited. <laughs> we will see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Bye, sis. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Sooner than later. Ang bil bil. Nilampasan si Tito. We'll see you soon, right? Come to Canada. That's your place. Don't bite your heart. I'll see you soon. Soon, soon, soon. Get in swimming lessons. Practice swimming because you're good at swimming. Yeah. You can swim for the Philippine Olympics team. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ash. Hi. Yeah. How about safe trip? Yeah, take care. Yeah. Be good, be safe. Have a safe life. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye, Ate. Bye bye. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take long. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Off we go to do some shopping. To buy a few little things to bring back to Canada because we found nothing to bring back. Bye, family. He's bringing his bag back because he's decided he doesn't want to carry it. Powdering his arms yeah. with a Dunkin' Donut. Just... <laughs> Only in the Philippines. <laughs> You know, they really do have this thing about volume in the Philippines. Everything has to be so loud that you can hear it from blocks away. And every speaker that the music comes from is blown. So it all sounds just incredibly loud and horrible. And it took us until the last day in the Philippines. Shift time. Only for my daughter, our little girl. She says it's the best, so we got to try it. Okay. I think I want dessert. <laughs> Why don't we get that one over there? <laughs> What did I say? Eight, eight dollars and fifty-two cents. Eight dollars and fifty-two cents, or something like that. So, the lens is better. It's more flavor. Yeah. So, what did you think? It was good, but it just tasted like barbecue chicken. Filipino I didn't, barbecue I didn't chicken. really find any real flavor out of it. Mama Lin's has ten times more flavor. The best part of this meal, I think, was the refreshingness of my Coke. <laughs> Washing it down. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but... So, if ever you're in Hinnabon area, go see Mama Lin at Pambox Restaurant. Yeah. Go check out her in a cell.
Either way, you finish it. Except for the rice. Ooh, Mama Lynn would freak out. Had leftover rice. Get our bacon. <laughs> Real bacon? Looks like it. Our last breakfast in the Philippines. After breakfast, we head to the airport and leave this beautiful place. Bye. Bacon? Deep fried, but yeah, good. 450? Can I use you guys on YouTube? Uh, you have a YouTube, ma'am? Yeah. You have a YouTube channel, ma'am? What's the name? Just write, we'll okay. follow what's you. Your, what's your names? I'm yeah. Gab. I'm Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fiesole. <laughs> <laughs> because we had to check out early at 12 and now we're sitting here for a few hours because the plane does not leave until I think 4.30 ish man hey <laughs> what do you miss most about home what are you most excited about um, not including the kids 
Number one. Mm, nothing really. What? You're not excited about going home to something. Maybe my bed. That's number one for me. Yeah, maybe the bed. Other than that, no. I'm gonna regret leaving here until I get back. Oh yeah, but there's nothing at home that you're excited to go back to? Well, maybe friends and family in no, my bed, but not, other than not that, people. like it's... Mine? Mine is number one. Bed. My bed. And number two, believe it or not, is milk. Anything milk. Milk drink. A bubble tea. A normal coffee with some cream. Well, I mean, some of the foods, yeah, but, you know... Chocolate like, milk. I can live without can the milk. milk. I just did two months with no milk, and well, my body hasn't been aching or anything, so I'm going to try to not do milk. I don't even drink milk. Yeah, I know. But that's what I'm looking forward to. Maybe a damn good burger or something. Yeah. You know, a nice steak. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Well, that's just it. Like I said, you know, <clears throat> other than the bed, it would be food. Yeah. Right? In my washer and dryer. <laughs> <laughs> so here in the Philippines, it doesn't matter if you arrive four hours early before you catch a flight and put your luggage right at the front. It doesn't matter because people will just go in front of you. Squish in the front. Four hours early and everybody just runs in front of you. So now we're not at the front of the line. This <laughs> is so stupid. So we have the special tags. Because they up the flight from Manila to Vancouver, so there's only like an hour in between flights. So I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna catch us take coming off the plane and shuttle us really quick over to our new plane.